time. We call it packing foam, but its real name is expanded polystyrene packaging. Those feather light white foam inserts that come with many boxed items. They not only secure the merchandise within the box, they also act as a shock absorber during transport. Polystyrene plastic comes in tiny pellets about a millimeter big. The first step is to expand them inside a steam chamber. The 200 degrees Celsius heat causes the pentane gas in the pellets to escape, allowing air to enter the pellets and inflate them up to 40 times their original size. Here are the polystyrene pellets before and after expansion. The factory then bags the pellets in huge sacks. To make expanded polystyrene products, they start by dumping sacks of expanded pellets into what's called the block mold machine. The more pellets they put per cubic meter, the denser the product will be. They steam fuse the pellets together, molding them into a block that's roughly five meters long by a meter wide by three quarters of a meter high. This molding process takes from five to 20 minutes, depending on the density. A scale built into the conveyor belt weighs the block to make sure it meets specifications. Depending on its density, a block this size can weigh anywhere from 45 to 200 kilograms. Now the block is ready to be cut into whatever product the client has ordered. Expanded polystyrene is best known as a packaging material, but it also has many other uses. Here, they're slicing a block into insulation panels. Builders use expanded polystyrene insulation for basements, roofs, foundations, and inside and outside walls. Regardless of the product, they cut polystyrene blocks using a copper and nickel wire that's electrically heated. It melts the polystyrene on contact, enabling fine precision cuts almost to the millimeter. To make expanded polystyrene packaging, they custom cut the specific shapes required. These squares they're gluing together have been ordered up by a furniture manufacturer. They're designed to fit onto the bottom of chair legs to protect them from damage during shipping. This machine handles more detailed and complex jobs. Its cutting wire is guided by computer software, so it can cut virtually any design. Expanded polystyrene is a low-cost alternative for making commercial signs that can be hung indoors or out. A sign made of high-density expanded polystyrene and coated with a quality exterior paint has an outdoor lifespan of a few years. This moldable product has endless creative and commercial uses.